Hello, be welcome to this presentation. Today, we will talk about a women of greatest importance in Honduran and in many parts of the world. She is Berta Cáceres. Berta Isabel Cáceres Flores was born on March 4th in 1973 in La Esperanza and she died in March 3 in 2016 what threw her life a prominent and radical defender of the rights of native people, feminist, pacifist, and anti-militarist activity protector of the environment. On March 17, in 1993, she found the Civic Council of Popular and Indigenous Organization of Honduras called COPI to fight for the defense of the environment, for the rescue of the Lenca's cultures, and to improve the living condition of the population of the region. A hardworking defender of the community asset of, peop of the people. She understood that her fight against hydroelectric, meaning and logging project is vital for the future of humanity. Toft highlighted her fight against the installation of the Aguasarca hydroelectric, dam of the Hualcarque River in Santa Barbara, whose construction seriously dam damaged the indigenous communities as it a primary result of water and food. In addition, it is a sacred river for the Lenca's people. An essential element, it is the their worldview according to the tradition. Female spirit are in the rivers and women are in the main guardians. Berta's commitment internationally recognized both for her activity in defense of rivers and for her permanent denunciation of the disastrous effects of this hydroelectric dam project by international investor. And for this, she is awarded the prestigious Goldman Environmental Prize in 2015. In his interpreting perspective, she also rejected the creation of U.S. military base in Honduran territory. It was also a rash criticism of the government of Honduran, Juan Orlando Hernández, and for El Partido Nacional of Honduras. Starting in 2006, when a group of indigenous Lencan people from Rio Blanco asked to Berta Cáceres for help in reporting the arrival of machinery and construction material in these areas. Cáceres investigated the project and informed the community that it was a commercial agency to build for hydroelectric dams and the uh, Walcarca rivers. The author involved were the Chinese company Sinohandro, the largest dance construction company in the world, the International Financing Corporation, EFC, of the World Bank, and the Honduran company Desarrollos Energeticos DESA. After the military could On June on 28 and 2009, the Demes constitutional president, José Manuel Zelaya, Berta Cáceres, became a staunch defender of the order of law and demanded, together with the people, the reform of the stage. In, in response to his opposition to the coup, She was a political prisoner 
and from the until the moment of his more than suffered political harassment. With the military coup in 2009, numerous as mega projects destructive of the environment are considerably and started in Honduras, which caused the displacement in indigenous communities. Empty their access to water, damage the production of food and natural material for herd medicines. Therefore, that their traditional way of life is made precarious. For this reason, Berta Cáceres demands that the government of Honduras respect their right to prayer, free and informed consultation of the indigenous people of of our nation. Starting in 2013, Cáceres led coping and mobilized to community to organize a protest campaign amongst the legal action that were carried out. The most prominent was talking the case before the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. On July 16, of the same year, the Honduran military machine gunned the women and men of Cobbing who were carrying out a painful protest. In this scenario, the leader Thomas Garcia dies. At the end of 2013, Cáceres and other indigenous leaders were accused of usurpation of continued damage against DESA. In response to these charges, Honestly International stated that if the activists were in prison, they would be considered prisoners of cautious. Dozens of regional and international organizations call on the Honduran government to stop criminal criminalism the defense of human rights and to investigate threats against human rights defenders. Berta Cáceres received death threat for years in response to her defense of the forests and rivers, for her defense of indigenous and women's rights, which is why she is also imprisoned on numerous occasions, which is why she had precarity mission issued by the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights. On February 25, in 2016, Berta Cassidis and Copy supported to Gisu Village in Intibuca. However, they were brutally evicted and the village was violently destroyed. Berta gave express conference in which she denounced that four leaders of the her community were assisted and many other received threat. A week later, on the morning of March 3 in 2016, when she was at his home preparing to present alternative to the Awasarka hydroelectric project. On the night of that destruction of March 3, the material of outdoor of her murder forced the doors and other house in La Esperanza to commit the crime that take the life of our Berta Cáceres. This act of immeasurable but injustice shows once again that the neoliberal racist and patriarchal system is looking for a means to get up of the dead crisis in which it's finding itself. Despite the clear attempt to paralyze the citizens, 
struggle with the evil femicide committed against the life of Berta Cáceres. The people are still fighting today more than ever. A very exemplary woman, not only because of her narrow nation, but also worldwide. Perhaps Berta did not have so much prestige by the Honduras authority, but without a doubt that many people honor her for all her career and for. She received the World Highest Award, Award for Environmental Defenders, the Goldman Pride, an admirable woman and dedicated mother, a great human being who undoubtedly gave generation reason to fight for the things that are good and for the race that people, cultures, and tribes have. She is Berta Cáceres.